From wooden dream catchers to eggs, one artist is burning her designs into the hearts of many. Chad Tucker shows us why she's taken up this unique art form. In a little building in Randolph County. This is kind of like my zone and it's quiet. Just what Jeanette Egan needs to do her art. So it's a real good form of relaxation mm. and anxiety relief. She started doing wood burning or pyrography as a way to earn some money after being laid off. It's six years later and I'm still learning. She uses her talents on all kinds of things, from wall hangings to decorative boxes and walking sticks. I just never know what people are going to ask me for and it just... It just blossoms into something else. She's always coming up with something new. And I'm like, where in the world did you think of that to do? Her latest creation comes just in time for Easter. This is the first time I'm doing eggs, something round. She starts by sketching with a pencil, then carefully burns it in. Each one is unique, and she never knows how one will turn out. I don't know until I start doing it. Jeanette makes it look easy. But it's not. It just takes practice and it takes a lot of patience. Colored pencils set off the design. It's just a matter of starting off with the big stuff first and then seeing what I can fill in, and it kind of makes it pretty. She's constantly pushing her limits of imagination and skill. Sometimes it's more of a challenge accepted. <laughs> <laughs> <You know? laughs> Literally, a burning desire.